पार्शियल मेल्टिंग गिव हेडिंग पार्शियल मेल्टिंग नमस्ते रॉक्स रॉक्स आर मिक्सचर्स रॉक्स आर मिक्सचर्स ऑफ मिनरल्स मिनरल्स देर फोर रॉक्स डू नॉट हैव डू नॉट हैव डेफिनाइट दे डू नॉट हैव डेफिनाइट केमिकल केमिकल एंड फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ओके वेन रॉक्स वेन रॉक्स आर हीटेड वेन रॉक्स आर हीटेड ओके डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ रॉक्स मेल्ट मेल्ड एट डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर ये समझ में आ रहा है ऑल ऑफ यू रॉक्स आर मिक्सचर्स ऑफ मिनरल्स रॉक्स डू नॉट हैव रॉक्स डोंट हैव डू नॉट हैव फिक्सड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड फिक्सड फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज सो वेन यू आर हीटिंग द रॉक डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ रॉक मेल्ट एट डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर्स डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ रॉक्स melts at different temperatures have you heard about something called as fractional crystallization suna hai apne or fractional distillation suna hai apne so 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 if you have if you have a mixture say this is a substance which has a which has b which has c which has d and say you take a beaker and in this beaker you are okay melting this rock For example, this part A has a melting point of 500 degrees centigrade. Say part B has a melting point of 1000 degrees centigrade. Part C has a melting point of 2000 degrees centigrade. Part D has a melting point of maybe okay 200 degrees centigrade. So now, if you are heating this, अगर आप इसको heat करोगे, okay. So say this entire thing is X. Say this thing is X. So when you're heating it, what comes out here? Will X come out here? When you he heat this, will X come out here? No. क्या होगा? First probably what will come out is the substance called as D. As you heat more, okay, then probably the substance called as A will come out. If you heat more, then probably uh, B will come out. and we keep on heating at very high temperatures then maybe c will come out is it understood here this is one or think of another case think of another case say i have a beaker say i have a beaker and in this beaker i have the whole thing is molten the whole thing is molten and i'm providing a very very high heat say my heating temperature is 5000 degrees centigrade and inside this Say there are different components. There are different components. For example, something has a melting point of two thousand degrees centigrade. Something has a melting point of one thousand degrees centigrade. Something has a melting point of five hundred degrees centigrade. And maybe this has a melting point of eight hundred degrees centigrade. So when you are heating at five thousand, the whole thing is molten. Is it okay? The whole thing is molten, and the whole thing molten is moving ahead. Now you tell me what will happen as it starts cooling. As it starts cooling, what will become solid first? What will become solid first? As it starts cooling, सबसे पहले what will become solid? Okay, so this one, the one which has a two thousand degree centigrade melting point, will become solid. Correct? Okay. फिर आगे चलेगा a bit more of cooling. What will become solid next? what will become solid next one which has 1000 melting point okay as lava keeps on moving what will become solid next what will become solid next okay the 800 one will become solid next and finally probably the 500 wala will become solid so when you are melting say this component's name is r this component's name is r so when r is melting do i get r when r is melting do i get r no i get a substance called as a a substance called as b a substance called as c and a substance called as d is it okay why because why why is this happening why because rock is a mixture that is why a rock is not a compound 
rock has different parts which melt at different temperatures yes this is something like differential melting we call this as the process of partial melting we call this as the process of partial melting theek okay? hai